Item number, SCP-768, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-768 is stored without batteries in a standard Safe Class secure locker at site. Access to SCP-768 requires approval from at least one Level 3 senior researcher. And Site Security must be notified of any experiments to be performed on SCP-768 at least 24 hours in advance. Any experimentation using SCP-768 must be performed in a remote isolation chamber, at least 300 meters away from any critical alarm systems. Researchers experimenting on SCP-768 must not bring any devices with alert mechanisms or alarms into the testing area and researchers with personal medical alarm systems must not be allowed into the area while experimentation is underway. Description SCP-768 is a Psycho-brand travel alarm clock that is physically identical to a regular unit of its model in all regards. Its anomalous property is activated when the alarm feature of the clock is set and the alarm activates. Instead of emitting a beeping alarm, as in normal units of its model, it instead causes all alarms and alerts within 300 meters to trigger. How SCP-768 accomplishes this is currently unknown, as disassembling SCP-768 and analyzing its components has revealed no irregularities or anomalous materials. Experimentation has shown that the types of alarm systems SCP-768 is capable of remotely triggering includes but is not limited to alarm clocks of all kinds, whether analog or digital, phone alerts and ringing for both mobile and hardline telephones, car alarms, medical monitoring systems, fire and disaster alarms, computer hardware alerts, including beep codes and emergency shutdown actions, Computer software alerts, including virus and critical update alarms. SCP Containment Alarms SCP-768 will cause any automated responses to such alarms to trigger, but does not appear to cause what might normally trigger these alarms to occur. A phone ringing due to SCP-768 activating may cause an answering machine to start, but nothing will be recorded, as no connection is made. SCP-768 came to the Foundation's attention after routine monitoring of municipal incident reports turned up a case in City in which hundreds of fire and car alarms were set off simultaneously in a residential area. Investigation led to the discovery of SCP-768 in the possession of a Mr. T. Subject claimed to have bought the clock from an online shop, which recommended the clock as being fit to wake the dead. Subject passed a polygraph test, but agents failed to locate the shop in question, and Mr. T was released after being administered a Class A amnestic and given a replacement clock of similar make and model. Research on SCP-768 to determine its method of operation and possible applications have been approved. Addendum 7681 Incident Report 76801 Initial experimentation conducted with SCP-768 caused the triggering of multiple containment breach alarms at site, including that of Euclid-level SCP, SCP, and Keter-level SCP. Automated defense systems and self-destruct mechanisms were armed before the research team managed to alert site security and stop the response. Due to the potential for triggering emergency responses, Future research with SCP-768's effects must take place outside of the range of any alarm systems connected to critical systems or SCP containment alarms. Addendum 76862 Incident Report 76805 During experimentation on Dr. P's heart monitor was set to an alarm state by SCP-768 causing his pacemaker to increase his pulse rate to nearly three times his normal rate. Dr. was hospitalized, but fully recovered after the incident. Future experimentation must be performed by research staff without pacemakers or any personal medical alert systems. 
lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-767, Crime Scene Photographs, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.